Hi, and welcome back to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne, and I am so grateful that you're here with me today. I hope you're doing really well. I just wanted to say hello. Um, we are figuring out the editing and the camera angles and such, so uh, hang in there with me. Um, and if you like what you see, please subscribe and like, and please tell your friends. Today, we're going to work on a page with watercolors. Really easy. And if you don't have watercolors, work with markers, crayons, whatever you've got available. So, okay. So, as you can see, I was playing with watercolors. I really, really love watercolors. Um, they kind of have a mind of their own and you can't um, predict what they'll do uh, depending on how much water you add or subtract. Uh, but again, if you do not have watercolors, then use markers, use crayons, use what you have. I tried to use um, like a Sharpie and add water to it and see if that would work, but unfortunately it doesn't. So I did a bunch of circles. I think I may do different geometric shapes, but if working with a paintbrush uh, freaks you out, then no one says that you can't go in here and, you know, use a bottle cap and just, you know, cover and fill it in, you know. But I like to use a bunch of different shapes and sizes. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to have some fun today. So, I I hope you're doing really well. Um it this has been a great experience for me. I, I know it's frustrating not to be able to go out, but um, I find that uh, I enjoy just hunkering down and, and uh, staying home. And um, my daughter's home. She's able to work from home, so it's lovely to have her home all day. And um, the only thing that's really hard is not being able to see my mom. She just turned 100. And... Um, you know, I can't visit her, so that really is not fun. But, um, you know, uh, I'm enjoying not spending money. <laughs> uh, that's always uh, great. But, um, uh, you know, uh, I, I really think that this is a time to really reflect on what's important in your life and who's important in your life and where you spend your time and how you spend your money and all of that and you know it, it seems that daily it's it's we're not even into the the thick of it yet and um you know it does get scary absolutely but i, I want to focus on the positive i mean I, I i focus on those lovely stories of people um just putting out good into the world and uh, i have to say today i made my first face mask it's not perfect but, you know, I'll make another one tomorrow and we'll experiment and hopefully I can make enough to donate and help out in the cause and we'll see. But um, anyways, uh, so I want you to just really play. Uh, it does not have to be perfect. I think the more childlike, the better. Uh, by the way, I, I did want to tell you a couple of things. Um, I have a, well, we have, my daughter and I have a website, and it's artistrycollaborative.org, O-R-G, and um, I haven't put much up there, but I mean, it does tell you, this several pages, and it does tell you about what we do, what our mission is, and classes that we will hold, and... Um, you know, uh, I think it's a great place to introduce you to who I am and who my daughter is and what we, what our passion is and to share that with you. So I would love it if you took a moment and went over there and checked us out. And um, also, I do a podcast. And again, it's very hard to, uh, well, what it is, is I like to talk about being creative and to give you ideas, but... I also like to interview a uh, local artist who is doing some great work and let you know about their process and all the things that they go through and, you know, overcome and all of that. Um, and so that's called Inner Promptings, and you can find that on just about any platform. It's on iTunes, it's on Spotify, but it's... Um, I'll put the link below uh, if you'd like to check it out. 
and um, I would love for you to subscribe and um, you know let me know what you think and if there's somebody or something that's going on that you think I should know about you know when this all blows over then let's let's get them in and let's let's um, talk to them see what they're doing so anyway um, more to colors uh, right now I'm using a really cheap set it it's five dollars or six dollars I think the price went up um, at Michael's um, but I mean you can use your kids Crayola if they have uh, some I'm hope you're doing this with your children I think that would be wonderful um, I know a lot of people are probably coloring Easter eggs and that's fun but you know step up step it up and um, speaking of which you know you could probably use those colors that you dye the eggs with to use for watercolors I don't see why not um, I think that would be fun and um, you know again don't just dye the eggs color on them put stickers on them there's so many things you can do um, the sky's the limit guys and so one of the things that we're discovering as we're doing this is that my videos have to be 15 minutes or they don't download so at 15 minutes you're going to hear an alarm go off and um, it's going to be time to wrap it up uh, and if I think I need to go longer than that then um, I will and um, I will uh, you know uh, do a part two or just edit it but um, if you hear an alarm that's that's all that is and uh, um, I don't think the the video should be any more than 20 25 minutes because you know there's other things to do and you know I can only talk for so long <laughs> but um, actually if I have a subject I can talk for a long time um, and I'd love to hear what you know is going on what are you doing to stay sane um, because I think that's really important I think it's really easy to get depressed I've noticed I'm very very tired and there's no reason for me to be tired at all um, I'm not I did go for a walk today which is great um, my first walk since my surgery in January and um, it felt great it was it was a beautiful day out and um, the Sun was shining and I really really enjoyed it but um, what are you doing what are you doing to pass the time uh, yesterday I my daughter kind of forced me I had mentioned that Michaels was having this contest using peeps for Easter and um, so I made a cake and I'll have it I'll have her put it on Instagram or, or um, on the website showing what I did but it, it was really cute it was uh, I made like a fenced in yard with the chickens laying all the different colored eggs and then I had the uh, so that was the the chicken peeps and then I had the bunny peeps um, uh, collecting the eggs so <laughs> it, it was very very cute and I'm glad I did it um, I had organized all our baking supplies and so I was telling my daughter it was really quite uh, enjoyable because I knew where everything was and I didn't have to go scrounging to find the different uh, materials that I needed to um, make the uh, the cake so that was nice but I had to make a cake from scratch because I had no cake mixes and um, which is very unusual but that was fine too I made a cake that I hadn't made since I was like a teenager um, and it was from a like 1950s cookbook and it was great so so anyways what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep um, making circles and um, squares and rectangles and I just want it to be fun I want it to be bright I want it to be happy and um, and I mean that's what I want maybe you want dark and dreary I don't know but I you know I'm not gonna force you to do anything you don't want to do um, and again if you want all circles please by all means do circles if you want squares do squares if you want flowers you can do anything you want the only thing I require is for you to have fun and to not judge yourself I would love it that you just um, you know uh, relax for a little while I think I 
think you need to really uh, let go and you know we we get nervous when we can't control things and there's so little in this life that we can control that I, you know I, I think we need to practice being able to let go and um, and I think that art is one of those ways in which you can do that I I just it's my place it's it's my meditation it really is it's my meditation and um, it is essential and I think that people just I think the more you do it too you're gonna gain a confidence you know you're not gonna love everything you do but you know who does I mean I, I I'm a very good baker but I don't love everything I make uh, and that's okay it's just the, the way it is and uh, so there's nothing wrong with that uh, I I just I'm so passionate about people just stepping into the best themselves that they can find you know um, I think so many of us are, are so sad and so disappointed uh, with their lives and where they are in their lives. We always think we should have accomplished more or done more or any of those things. And I think we're just so hard on ourselves. And I think we just need to relax and trust that everything is as it should be. And it's all going to be okay. And we're going to get through this. Um, God knows they got through the Black Plague and we're still here. So, um, and that's not to minimize the pain that people are feeling. Um, that I don't mean to do that at all. But I do want to focus on just the positive because positive brings more positive. There's, there's no doubt about it. I, I, I don't know if you believe in the law of attraction or not, but we're all compri comprised of energy and whatever energy you put out is what you're going to get back. And I don't want to be miserable and I don't want to be... Um, you know, complaining and, and just woe is me because I'm blessed. I'm beyond blessed. I, I, and I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination. I struggle to pay my bills. I'm on disability and, you know, there's, there's a lot that I, I don't have, but I focus on what I do have and I have a roof over my head and I have a blanket to sleep under and I have food in my refrigerator and I have loving friends and family and an incredible daughter and you know uh, I lost my son three years ago and trust me that that there's no words for it but I'm grateful for the time I had with him I'm grateful that I was his mom um, and so yeah um, you just focus on the positive all right, so I'm going to come back once this page is full. And um, I want you to get ready to doodle. You're going to use markers or crayons or whatever, but we're going to fill in all these shapes with just simple doodles. I forgot to tell you, because <laughs> I showed you these pages in the intro, um, that how I set up the background is um, I just took old, uh, th this is actually a dictionary, and I actually just ripped up some pages and uh, glued them down and let them dry. And so that's what we are watercoloring on top of. I apologize. Um, I'll, I'll get this better, I promise. It is harder than it looks. <laughs> um, okay, so then I just, I took a lot of markers um, and, and went around, I outlined the... Um, geometric shapes and uh, and so now I'm just going to go in and I am just going to do all kinds of doodling just and you know there is no rhyme or reason you just put in what you like um, and you know you can do dots and you can do flowers you can do squares and circles and swirls and all kinds of fun things and somehow it becomes this cohesive whole um, it's pretty cool how it does does work out 
And then um, what we're going to do is I use stickers on this side, but if you don't have stickers, you can just write right on it. Um, and I try to use positive words. Um, I, again, I want to talk about being playful and joyful, and dancing in your living room, all those fine things. And as you can see, there is no um, talent here. This is just free form and just being fun and going crazy and and then here I'm just gonna write um, let's see let's say dance which I have dance on the other side but dance and I'd like to show um, I'm use some of my these are by Faber Castell and they're um, black fine liners and I really like them there I mean they're very very fine and um, you know I want to write grateful and I want to write joy and I want to write um, happy what else can we write um, sing Smile, laugh, giggle, play, love, and all that kind of such. And then you can go in and you can do some scribbles inside you know you can make some dots that looks like a donut <laughs> and um, just lots and lots of color lots and lots of color I like these swirly things they remind me of a, a party like those streamers that go up in the air try to do it here with the watercolor didn't really come out that well um, and you know just go back to the basics stripes checkers you know whatever you like it's all about you all right and um what i want to start doing is writing down the date so today is four what is today four uh, i believe eight and twenty I did this one yesterday, so this was 4, 7, 20, 20. All right. And then I'm going to bring this up close so you can see. And here's the one I did yesterday with the stickers. And that's it. So if you like what you see, please like this channel and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, just leave them down below and um, I will put a list of uh, things that I use, materials that I use, watercolors, markers. I used um, gesso. I didn't gesso this side. Ah, I didn't gesso this side. That's interesting. All right, because you can tell that the colors are a little bit more muted on this side. All right. Um, and... Uh, the gel paste that I use to put down the uh, text. All right, so I hope you are doing well. I hope you are staying safe. And as always, keep on creating.